Los Angeles. It's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it here. We are together again on the radio. And this hour, uh, we're going to talk about a term that I see more often in my email box than I hear in real life. And that doesn't mean I don't hear it in real life. It means I get a lot of spam. (laughs) Uh, We've talked about this term on the year before, but uh, we're going to personalize this even more. And the term is MILF. And uh, I'm still amazed how many people do not know what MILF is, but uh, for those few who don't know, MILF stands for Mother, I'd Like to F. MILF. Now, we've chatted about MILFs on the air. Uh, Essentially, we've uh, chatted about um, MILFs in your community, Uh, just generally about MILFs, whether you think about them. Well, you get hot thinking about them, whatever. But, uh, no, now we're going to narrow this down a little bit. You know, they always say, if you want to look at your future, look at your wife's mother, look at your fiancé's mother, look at your girlfriend's mother. That is what you can expect in the future. Many times, many of you have a... um, I have a hard time looking at mom because mom is some big, fat, jolly sort. And uh, I know deep down, somewhere in the back of your mind, some of you boys are worried that suddenly that beautiful, nubile young thing that you are with will one day turn into the Michelin Man. Some big, fat hog. Then again, there are some of you who uh, are with somebody who uh, has a hot mom. And uh, in some cases, um, maybe you're with somebody who, for example, ever uh, dated the uh, daughter of a model or the daughter of an actress or the daughter of, uh, you know, maybe somebody famous. And for example, imagine if uh, imagine if somehow your uh, future mother-in-law was somebody like Raquel Welch, somebody like that. I'll bet there are rare instances where, while you are with somebody who you think is hot, really hot, they get you hot, you look at their mom, and mom is even hotter. In fact, I'll take it a step further. I know there are some of you out there who looked at mom, thought about mom, fantasized about mom, and one day mom put her hand on your knee and you were off to the races. Some of you have just fantasized about it. Some of you, it's actually happened. And that's the kind of MILF I want to talk about. The mother-in-laws, or the mothers-in-law, which is the proper plural. The mothers-in-law, you'd like to F... Either you've uh, got into a room alone with a hand towel and just spanked away, or um, in the real world, something actually happened. And no doubt, you are bragging to one and all about it. So, if the mother of the woman you love is a MILF, and um, you've either thought about it, or done something about it, you are the person I want to talk to. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 
1-800-5800-866. The advice Dump That Ditch is a little harsh and rude. I don't care. I am harsh and rude. The Tom Likas Show. Like us on Hot Talk 10. Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. It's Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Professor Likas, how you doing? I'm okay, Mike. Um, I really messed up, man. I stayed a uh, Latin woman's daughter, actually, for a few months. And it was her birthday, and we were all at her house. And uh, her How old was she? She's 46, probably. No, the daughter. How old's the daughter? 20. 20, okay. Yeah. Oh. And we were at her mother's birthday, and everybody was drunk, and she passed out. And so it was just the mother and I, and I was helping her clean up. At the end of the day, she was really thrilled that I helped her clean up, and she kind of started thanking me in ways that she shouldn't have. Really? Like how? She started, well, she first gave me a hug, and she was drunk, and then she started kind of breathing on my neck, and then gave me a kiss, and we started making out. Uh-huh. A um, few minutes passed, we started touching, and I kind of stopped it. And um, I guess she felt that I was going to go tell her daughter. So the next morning, I got a call from her daughter saying what an a-hole I am, and uh, she broke up with me saying that I came on to her mother. Oh, boy. And that her mother pushed me away. Oh, boy. I mean, come on, Tom. What's a guy supposed to do? <laughs> the most gorgeous woman I've seen in my life, but oh, well. Now you're sorry you didn't go for it. Oh, oh yeah. You bet I am, man. You bet I am. And what did she look like? Hand. Uh, blonde, blue eyes. She's actually from Venezuela. Uh-huh. Um, very, she looks white, white skin. Um, Really gorgeous, gorgeous woman. And the daughter was pretty hot, too, but the mother's just a total milf, man. Really? Total milf. Oh, if I had a chance again. Oh, boy. So, um... And how long ago was this? Um, a few months ago, actually. And you never heard uh, back from either one of them? No, I tried to explain to the daughter that, you know what, hey, it was your mother that came on to me, and she just would not believe it. She would not, but I saw the mother actually at a, a gathering event, and she totally ignored me, pretending like she didn't see me, and just walked away. Um, so, oh, well. Well, Mike, uh, thank you for that. <laughs> thank you, Tom. Thank you. Here with Here you. it is. Kelly on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. <laughs> hey, uh, this happened about 12, 15 years ago. I was living in eastern Oregon, Baker City, and uh, my girlfriend and I moved, went up here to Portland and met with her parents, you know, her first time meeting, blah, blah. Her mom was kind of hot. Uh, couldn't find a job in Baker for the love of God. I was like... 20 at the time, and her uncle offered me a job in, in construction, so I came back up here and started working. Well, she wanted to finish school, so she stayed back in eastern Oregon. And uh, one night I was sitting on the couch, and her mom was complaining her neck hurt, so she sat down between my legs on the floor and started rubbing her neck, and, uh, you know, she kind of undid a couple buttons and pulled it over, and she goes, no, it hurts down here a little more on her shoulders, rubbing her shoulders a little bit more, and... Uh, before I knew it, she, she kind of grabbed my fingertips and pulled them across her breast. And it's like, God, what am I doing? This is my girlfriend's mom. Uh-huh. And uh, started making out a little bit, a little, little petting, a little tongue action. And, and about a half an hour of that, it's like she came to her senses and said, okay, we, we've got to stop this. We've oh, got to go to bed. Uh -huh. like, i got to take a shower. What are you doing to uh -huh. me? It's a cold shower. <laughs> but, so, was that it? Yeah, if I had to do that all over again, it, I think it was there for my beck and call, but I just I couldn't bring myself to do it. Wow, wow, wow. And did you continue to date the daughter? Uh, actually, I married her and divorced. Too bad you weren't around 10 years ago. Yeah, you were, but I wasn't listening to you. Oh, boy. But, uh, yeah, her mom's still kind of hot. You mean you've seen the mom recently? Uh, yeah, yeah, she's getting a little bit older, but, God, she, she had a... She was probably about a size four, size six, maybe. You know. You could probably five. still. You could probably still hit that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> but oh yeah, big, big, nice, nice breath, nice. Sounds good to me. Did you get a look at them? Uh, I got a couple. Yeah. 
Uh, it is. A little touchy feely mm-hmm. mouth around them. Oh yeah. Oh really? Yeah, but yeah, I just couldn't do it. I that was far enough. <laughs> now you're sorry you didn't, right? Yes. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah. All right, Kelly. Well, thank you for this. Hey, take me out with the screaming orgasm. Here you go, Kelly. Oh, oh God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's Alex on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Alex. How are you today? Do you care? Absolutely, absolutely. Doing great. Good, good. I heard the topic, and I couldn't believe it, only because just recently, like, uh, I'm about three months into a separation, mm-hmm. and I've always fantasized about my mother-in-law. And then this happened. I was married for about two years. And so I've been sort of thinking about it a lot more, and a couple of times we've met just like on a on a friendly social basis, and uh, I've kind of, you know, been a little more friendly than the old son-in-law type thing, and uh, I'm starting to get some pretty good uh, vibes back. So Now, wait a minute. Are you uh, are you're still with your wife? No, we're separated for three months. Now. You're separated, and so now her mom is working you? No, I'm trying to work her mom. You're trying to work her mom? Yeah. And your your mom is responding. Her mom is responding. Yeah, uh, I, I believe so, yes, yes. How I, so? I, uh, what is she doing? What's that? How so? Well, just uh, a couple of times we we talked about some stuff, and then it's like, okay, it's time to go. So uh, usually we just give each other a little hug, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I kind of gave a little more of a hug and she felt a little more of a hug and I don't know just I felt a bit of a spark there but it's still fire right so I don't want to play too much with it and I'm going to try to nurse it along now, have you been uh, fantasizing about this for a while or is this all spontaneous no this is I've, I've thought about it since the day I met her really? and uh, I've, I've just put it out of my mind right obviously I just said no I can't I can't even deal with it. it's never going to happen but just recently with the turn of events it's uh it's it's a path that I thought, what? Oh, excuse me. I might as well uh, go for. It. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm getting in there slowly but surely. She's also uh, Asian, and so she she's they look like sisters, right? And how old is mom? Uh, she's got to be, I'd say, thirty nine ish, maybe forty one ish. And the daughter is how old? She's uh, twenty seven. <laughs> oh, come on. How many Asians have kids at fourteen? Come on. Well, mom must be older, just looks younger. Well, she's incredibly young. I could be out on on the ages. Matter of fact, I I uh, I lied about my ex wife's age. She's actually a couple years younger than that, but I just uh, uh-huh. that's where my math went wrong. Uh, okay, twenty five. Got it. Anyway, so yeah, so that's that's what's happening. Wow, wow, wow! And uh, doesn't mom say, "Hey, this is wrong. You're married to my daughter, or you're aren't you trying to work things out, or nothing?" Well. She's she's pretty hot, Tom. I understand. No, no, no. I mean the workout part, it's over. I'm... We had a trial separation about uh, uh, a year ago, and and uh, I mean it's definitely over between me and the daughter. It's it's there's no there's no working that out. But uh, the other side of it, uh, it may happen. And as, as far as the father-in-law, well, um, you know he's, he's he's you know pretty much a blank, I would guess, when it comes to that. Uh, that uh, that area, I, I'm fairly certain she's probably not getting what she uh, probably could handle, anyways. Well, well, well. <laughs> Listen to you. I'm terrible. I'm, I can't believe I'm even thinking like this, Tom. But no, you're 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 getting hot just thinking about it. Now, how long has Mom been uh, divorced? Do you know? Uh, <laughs> good question. I think it's uh, it's 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 uh, a negative number at this point. It hasn't happened. Really. Well, yeah. Okay. All right, Alex, thank you for that. Uh, 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Eric on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Eric. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. All right. Yeah, I just want to tell you about this one woman I was with. Man, it was great. What was great? I, what woman? Who are you talking about? Oh, the girl that I met. It was funny because we used to always talk about hooking up and all this stuff. Who did? Me and her. No, no, no. Yeah, you keep saying her. You talking about a daughter, a mother, who? No, she's a milf. All right. So wait, you you had uh, you were dating the daughter. Yeah. You're married to the daughter. You dated the daughter. What was it? You're, you're leaving out part of the story. I, I don't know who this is the mother of. Okay. This is what it was. She used to date this guy. 
Who did? The mother? The, the chick. And then she got pregnant. And then after... Oh, wait, 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 stop, stop. Slow it down, because, like I said, you're leaving out lots of this story. No. The no. chick, the chick who got knocked up by another guy, were you dating her? No, I wasn't. All right, so you just knew some chick. Yeah. She was just some chick. Yeah. Not your wife, not your girlfriend, not not uh, no. the... No. Just, just, just a friend that I knew from a bowling alley. Okay. Right? Yes. And I didn't see her for like a year because I moved out of the state. And I came back, and I knew she had a kid. And I was at a friend's band show, and then I thought they sucked, so I went outside. And next thing you know, she calls me over, and I was like, oh, my God, hey, how are you? Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, nothing, you know, how you doing? Start talking to her and stuff like that. I'm like, so you still with what's his name? She's uh -huh. like, no. I'm like, all right, cool. Let's go have a few drinks. Had a few drinks, start talking, all that chit-chat. Went home with her that night. And just, then she just... Gorgeous. I mean, you couldn't believe she had a kid. And How old was she? She's 30. Mm-hmm. And I'm 25. This is, wait, who's 30? She is. Oh, so, wait a minute. The chick you met at the bowling alley mm -hmm. is the mother. Yeah, she she's a mom. And she's 30. And she yes. just had a baby. Okay. I thought there were two separate women. Were oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, that's what I'm telling you. You're telling me half the story. It's like I'm, I'm completely lost. Oh, well, I don't mean to confuse you. <laughs> well, well, you did, but thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Sonny on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom. Sonny. How you doing? All right. Awesome. I'm calling you from Vancouver. Cool. So anyway, um, I did my ex-mother-in-law. <laughs> you did your ex-mother-in-law? Yeah. All right, now, but how did this all start? You were dating somebody or married? No, 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 no. I was married to her daughter. You were married to the daughter who was how old? Uh, at the time? Yeah. My wife, my wife was 22 at the time. She was 22. Yeah. And how old was and how old was mom? 41. And when you first met mom, did you start having fantasies about her, or this was something oh, you never yeah. thought of? You did. Oh yeah. Remember, remember the uh, Spice Girls? Yeah. Remember the blonde? Yeah. Her mother looked exactly like her. Really? Yeah. Okay. Really. So anyway, mom used to walk around in a robe and towel, and, and that's all she would ever wear. Right. Yeah. Anyway, daughter decided to leave, and I I, I had to hit the quizzer with her. Now, uh, how did it happen? I don't know. It just happened. No, no. It didn't just happen. Somebody said something. Somebody touched something. Somebody did something. It doesn't just happen. Okay. She was playing on the computer. And I just kind of came up behind her, and I just thought, you know, I'm either going to do this or not. Wait a minute. Had, you, had your wife already left you? No, no, no. No, no. All right. So where was your wife? She was out. She was, she out, was with the, her out with her friends. So you're alone with mom. I was alone with mom. Mom's on the computer. on the computer. Right. Sitting in her towel. And I just, you know, I couldn't resist. <laughs> so what would you do? Did it. You came up from behind and did what? Came up from behind, uh, and just like one of your previous callers, did the old stroking the shoulder thing, went down, she dropped the towel, she went down on me, I went down on her. So uh, there was not even any, hey, what are you doing? Nothing. No. Mom no, got right in. Nothing. It, it just, it was natural, it was bound to happen, and it just did. Oh, Sonny, thanks a lot for the call. This is the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. All right, you are dating or married to a woman, and she's hot, and she's great, and all of that. But maybe her mom is even hotter. Maybe you've had those forbidden fantasies. Maybe mom uh, put her hand on you at one time or another, or more than that. Lots of we're trying to find out at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's James on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Hi, James. Hey, you got a great story for today. Uh, back in the day, I was a senior, and I was dating uh, the hottest freshman in our school. And This is in high school? Yeah, this was back a couple of years ago, back in high school. I was a senior, and I was dating the hottest freshman and ended up going to her mom's house for dinner, and uh, mom, the daughter left, and I ended up having dinner and dinner went up to dessert up in the daughter's bedroom. How did that happen? I I was talking to the mom after school in the parking lot and she invited me over to dinner and, and how how old was mom? Mom was thirty five at the time. Uh -huh. Divorced. She uh wasn't getting it I guess from 
she hadn't had it in a while, and she had all kinds of toys, had uh, wine bottles and big little vibrators. I mean, as a young man, I was blown out of my mind. Really? Yeah. And uh, to this day, I was actually trying to enlist in the military, and because of that, uh story got back, and she found out, the whole school found out, and uh, they tried to charge me for charging rumors and everything like that, and so it was a, it was a so great... So, you're, you're in the military now? Well, uh, I am... Well, I was trying to get into, but uh, I just got out. But you were in at the time this happened? No, I was... I was trying to go in because I was still in high school. I was, I was 18 at the time. And uh, I still didn't graduate, but I went over to her, and I kept on seeing her mom for a couple times after that, and people started seeing us around town. And uh, the daughter got crazy and went home at school one time and tried to have her on. Uh, she broke up with me because of it, and I still I talk to the mom to this day, time to time, every time I go home. You talk to her? Do you uh, ever do her? Uh, I did her. I did it about like six months ago because that was the last time I was home, and it's age is nothing but a beautiful thing to a young man. So uh, this could happen again. Oh yeah. And uh, have you heard from the daughter since then? No, uh, she hates my guts every time uh, I've seen her once uh, since I've been home, and she just flips me off and gives me a dirty look, and can't believe it because she tried to she tried to tell everybody that I was lying and. Turns out that her mom, uh, once she turned 18, uh, told her the whole truth and about everything that we used to do in her in her own daughter. And, and how did her mom explain this? I mean, what was her excuse? Uh, I guess she just said she was lonely and that. Uh, uh, well, the, what happened was the daughter was at home and she kept on bragging to her mom about you know me because I was such a great guy and I did everything for her. And then her mom, I guess, just kind of wanted to. T- take a test for herself, but her mom's a lot hotter. She's a milk, a lot hotter than daughter, so wow. it's one of those things you're proud of. Wow, wow, wow. How old mom now? About 38 or so? Uh, about that. But big old knockers. Bigger knockers. Really? Sounds good to me, James. All right. Uh, thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Tom on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yeah, how you doing? Hi, Tom. Good, good. Listen, this is a pretty good story. This happened about 15 years ago. Uh, I was in my, I was about 20, 21, and I was recently divorced from a young marriage. And I started dating this girl I met at a bowling alley. I didn't really know what age she was or not. Pretty hot little girl. And I come to find out from some friends that this girl was, I think she was like 17 at the time. No way I could touch that stuff. But before I found out about that, she brought me over to meet her mom. And I'm talking a hot dish right here. Really? How, how old was mom? Uh, I, I don't know the exact age. I'd say she had to be at least 30, 32 at the time, you know. She married young. She was married to a real, uh, real jerk lawyer, didn't spend any time with her, and she had just had another baby, so a baby about two months old. But this woman was hot. And I go over to meet her, and I'm sitting there talking to her and stuff. She wanted to meet me, and she goes, starts talking to me and says, you know, my daughter's too young for you. And I said, yeah, she kind of lied to me about that. And she sent off her daughter, and the whole time she's just sitting there touching me and holding me and she gets her daughter to take uh, her little son up and change the diapers. And right there, down there in the extra room, she starts going down on me. And, uh, well, say we never got finished that time, but we did go back to do it again, right? Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, her husband was a jerk. This guy, this is the kind of guy that came home. He had greasy, oily hair with sit on the couch and watch TV all day, and I would think, God, you got this prime piece of meat right here, and you're sitting there watching the news all night. I'd be banging that the moment I got through the door, mm-hmm. you know. Oh, yeah, she was hot. She was hot. I, they, I did that for about three months, you know, and never did touch the daughter. I wouldn't go there, but, oh, yeah, they ended up moving and stuff, but uh, I never regret that. It was a good one, you know. Wow. Hot, hot, hot. Sound pretty hot to me, Tom. Thanks a lot. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Joseph on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Hi, Joseph. Hey, you're the greatest. I listen to you every day. Thank you. On my way home. Hey, hot story for a 16-year-old, of course. Um, I'm dating this girl. I'm 16. She's 16. And um, mom was a masseuse. And this is, this is out, out in the Anaheim area. But mom was always drunk and always wearing a negligee around the house. So one night, my, uh, my girlfriend goes to bed, 
and uh, she wants a foot rub down on the couch. Mm -hmm. So I start rubbing her feet and uh, start, slowly start working my way up there to see how far I can get. And uh, she basically let me let me go all the way. Start really? Yeah, yeah, it's was, it was pretty incredible. I mean, it changed my life forever, that's for sure. How so? Uh, well, I, I, I'm attracted to older women now. Uh, not not old, old, but, you know, m mature women mm -hmm. that, that are, you know, pretty. And uh, it, it was just it was fantastic. So she let you uh, massage your way all the way up, and then what happened? Uh, well, I, I started touching down there, and uh, she wasn't stopping me. And pretty soon, you know, legs were uh, flying apart and going down and investigating the area. And it, it eventually, um, after it was all over with, she went up to bed and she let me come up there. Maybe she was sobering up, but she was laying in bed and she let me pull around with the top half. And uh, then she realized, oh, God, what have I done? Uh-huh. So it was, it was pretty much over after that. Really? And I was I wasn't allowed to the house anymore. I don't know why. You were never told. <laughs> no. Unbelievable. I, just wasn't, I wasn't allowed to see your daughter anymore. Wow! 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 Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I'll bet it was. Tom, I'm glad I got to talk to you. You're an, uh, a great guy. Joseph, thank you. I appreciate the call. You want? To... All right, you're married to a chick or dating her. And she's great and all, and she's hot and everything, but then you met her mom, and her mom is just an out-and-out out milf. And you've either fantasized about her, or she's fantasized about you, or it's gone even further. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's her telephone number. It's James on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Dad, I am thoroughly obsessed with my wife's mother. I, I've uh, been that way now for a better part of about eight years. Really? Been married. How did this yeah. start? Uh, her mom is an absolute milf. Uh, sort of fell in love with her, I guess, when I first met her, uh, when I was dating her daughter. And a uh, few, well, gosh, about a few years later after that, we moved up to Washington, and uh, she came up to stay with us to live up, you know, find a place up here to live. And... Uh, there was a couple times where she was in the house and go in to use, you know, get ready for work in the morning. And, you know, as I went out, she would just sort of stand there. I guess. Not ever, both times. And I've just been absolutely obsessed with her since. Now, how old is your wife? My wife is 39. And how old is her mom? Her mom is getting close to 60. And That's just a hard body with a great set of cans, man. Really? Awesome. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've actually gone to her house a couple of times, and, you know, when the mom and daughter have been out and about kind of just rifling through the dresser looking at things and just have, I mean, just obsessive. I mean, I've even been with my wife and done her good a few times and just thought she was a mom. Uh-huh. So, you know. So, I mean, now, has mom, has mom, uh, has mom uh, in any way uh, responded, reciprocated? Uh... Um, I've never, you know, I've I've never really pushed. Uh, push the issue or try to ask her, you know, or, you know, I don't know, just just approach the issue. I'd love to. I just don't know how to do it. But, I, you know, I'd hate to do that and then kind of destroy what I have. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I guess right now it borderline a little obsession and heavy fantasy. Not that I'd stop it if it actually happened. And not that I haven't gone on my way to try to see her, you know, undress again. <laughs> mm -hmm. But... Ah, oh, it kills me sometimes. Listen to you. Have you ever uh, done a little spanky spank there thinking about this? Oh, absolutely. Really? Oh, man, there's been plenty of times I've had my wife just, you know, going down on me and just pretend it was her mom. No. Oh, absolutely. Really? Hell, there was one time it was, uh, I guess her mom had, uh, I, she'd gotten a, a bra or something that she didn't want, and uh, or she, she bought it, it didn't fit right, something like that that effect but she gave it to my wife and I mean that was just awesome because it was like yeah mom had this <laughs> unbelievable look at that all right James thank you for that 1-800-5800-TOM Jim on the Tom Likas show hello hello Tom hello Jim how are you man do you care pal not at all doing great 
Cool. Hey, uh, I had this girl I used to date in uh, in high school. I was about 17. She was 16. And uh, I, one day I remember we went to, uh, uh, you know, just out and about after school, hanging out. Uh, went back to her, her house. She was going to, I already been to uh, my house. I showered and everything. I was going to go out. Took her back home. She showered. We we're getting ready to go out. And uh, um, while she was upstairs, her mom just totally did the come on to me. And uh, how old is how old is your girlfriend? My girlfriend was sixteen. Her mom was about thirty five. Uh huh. Yeah. Say. Her mom was a knockout, Tom. My my girlfriend was a knockout. Um, she was, you know, in a in a high school girlish kind of way. Mm-hmm. But her mom was, you know, in a in a goddess kind of way, you know, just just hot, and you know, in the mature kind of know what she wants kind of way, and you know, just amazing looking. And she totally came on to me, did the touchy feely on the arm, and um, you know, I yeah, I, I was kind of like getting, you know, really excited. I mean, guy, you know, seventeen years old. Mm-hmm. You know, totally excited, ready to, you know, just not knowing what was really going on. And then, uh, so my girlfriend comes down, we went out and did our, uh, you know, our thing and uh, partied and, you know, did what 16 and 17 year old kids do when they party and then came home and my girlfriend went to sleep and, you know, we were all sitting around talking and she, you know, I'm going to go to sleep. She goes upstairs and her mom just totally came on to me. And, you know, 17 years old, you can get excited over and over and over. So uh, so you put the puck in the net, and then you went out with your girlfriend? Pardon me? You put that puck in the net, and then you went out with your girlfriend? Oh, you know that. You did. And uh, did the girlfriend ever figure it out? Uh, she, I, I kind of thought she did for a while, because I used to go over there all the time, even when she wasn't there. I mean, obviously, but... Uh, you know, I think she kind of figured out something was going on, but she never said anything. Who was better in the sack? Oh, dude, come on, man. <laughs> what kind of question is that? Is there, she couldn't hold a candle what her mom was. Really? Uh, her, her mom knew things that, that little girls don't know, you know? Oh. And so she, uh, oh, it was great, man. She taught me so much, and it's like one of your other callers said, and it, you know, once you had like a mature one, you know, that's just the little ones won't do anymore. And, uh, you know, I did it, you know, after that, I was, you know, attracted to like the older women and stuff. And I went out with a few of my friends' moms and, uh, uh, you know, it, it was great. I even, I moved to a different state and, uh, you know, and I hooked up with my stepmom, my ex stepmom once. And, uh, I mean, it's just, that's what I'm attracted to, man. The older women really do it for me. It man. completely turned you around. Tom like it. 1-800-585-800. Tom. You do a wonderful job of roping us gals in, suckering us into your song, and bending us over slowly. It's amazing. And you all hate each other. It's so easy. It's the Tom Like It Show. <laughs> Tom like his show at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. All right, you're dating a chick, but her mom is a milf. Maybe you're married to a chick whose mom is a milf. Did you go there? It's Dave on the Tom like his show. Hello, Tom. How are you, sir? Hi, Dave. All right. Hey, yeah, this happened to me about ten years ago. Uh huh. Um, I was dating this girl, and she introduced me to her mom. Right. It turns out her mom is a co-worker of mine. Well, was a co-worker of mine. Well, now, the daughter was pretty cool, right? But the mom was just hot. She's Latin, and she was hot. I mean, just these enormous knockers, right? Mm-hmm. It's just amazing. So um, it's like I wasn't really too interested in the daughter. So me and the mom went out to lunch a couple times. Well, Tom, it was just great. We yeah, went out a couple times. How old was mom? The mom we banged. How old was she? Fifty-six. Fifty-six? Fifty-six. I don't know what it is. I, I guess I've heard it before about Latin women, but they keep their bodies toned. Mm-hmm. This woman was toned. I mean, she just had these incredible knockers that were just amazing. 
And the rest of her was really nice as well, too. And, Tom, I just got to tell you, she was just spectacular. And uh, was it a one-time thing, or did you keep going? Oh, man, I did that for about three months until I left the company. Really? <laughs> yes. Listen to you. And you're proud of it. Hell, yeah. I'm did proud. the daughter ever find out? Huh? Did the daughter ever find out? No, the daughter never found out. Wow, wow, wow.